Now, as you know, before uh, the nine o'clock news, I was talking about my confusion, my amazement, having largely walked away from social media over the break, that I now know more about a guy called Andrew Tate than I have ever known before. And I have asked the questions of many of my growing up friends, um, why would you worry knowing about Andrew Tate, who got into some sort of Twitter war with Greta Thunberg, who I think rather childishly, but she is only a child, still a young woman, said he had small dick energy. And as I said, if she had said she had small tit energy, I imagine the world would have cancelled, well, cancelled him more than it has. He and his brother, and I don't know why this is important to me, are now in prison in Romania, though they have not been charged with trafficking. And from my research last night, there were young women living in the house, and I'll just go through what I know. The women who were living in the house say they were free to leave. They had their own phones with them. Some phone calls have been reproduced in which he does things with sex or has a view to women that I find appalling and abhorrent. But for some reason, the world is losing its mind over Andrew Tate and he's trending on that Twitter thing. Um, now, I thought I thought that was all ridiculous. And Ruby, Hello. Uh, content producer Ruby, um, <laughs> was sitting there like... I don't know, shaky, your fist jumping up and down uh, outside the studio. <laughs> so I thought we would get Ruby in, and, and Ruby's a little bit younger than like half my age, <laughs> more than half my age, and, and Ruby is of a different generation of people who see the world differently and social media differently. So Ruby, firstly tell me, who the hell is this guy, Andrew Tate? So originally he started off as a bit of a kickboxer, and that's how he first made his money. Um, and then he launched um, a business with his brother, which promotes uh, how to be a better man or how to be a man, I guess. And talking about, you know, how to get women, how to make money and how to be ripped at the gym, which is, of course, you know, the most important things that you can do as a man, right? You know, those three things. No, but I... But <laughs> <laughs> okay, for a certain people it is. Okay, well, so, so they, exactly, you know. So, so the thing is, well, getting a girl looking good and making money. Well, they're not bad. They're not bad motivators. It's not like finding a cure for cancer. No, however, it's it's just a little bit. I don't know, shallow. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I, I, no, I agree with. You. So how much? And this is the thing because we live in different eco chambers, Ruby. So in amongst young New Zealand guys, yeah. of like your age yeah. and around your cohort of age. How big a deal is this guy? Is this guy Andrew Tate? Is he like Jordan Peterson? No, he's no Jordan Peterson. I mean, you can you can ask, you know, Ben, other people in our office, they know who he is and there's a reason for that. And it's because one, what he says is absolutely outrageous. You don't have to listen to what he says, but it's still the message that's being put out there that some people are listening to. And that's what's concerning. People are listening to what he's saying and taking it on board. That is the problem. Even if it's rubbish? Even if it's rubbish. You do You, you do realise, Ruby... Yes. That freedom of speech means people are allowed to talk rubbish and other people are allowed to listen to them. Absolutely, absolutely. However, it becomes a problem when it's promoting things like human trafficking, sex trafficking. Um, do you know what the lover boy, I think it's called the lover boy technique, is what Andrew Tate uses? What? No, what's the lover so boy technique? I'm is... probably going to regret asking, <laughs> that, asking that So, question. Andrew Tate, one of the things that he does to get women to make be or become girls is he convinces them that he is in love with them. And he goes, okay, well, we're in love. We're in a relationship. Let's go to Romania. We can start our lives together, get married, have children. Then they get to this house where they are free to leave. However, they're, they're not. They're, the house is guarded by security guards. You know, there's, there is freedom to leave, but it's not easy to well, leave. Well, okay. And what do these girls do once they get there? Well, they become cam girls. What's a cam girl? A cam girl <laughs> films videos that go on uh, R-rated sites. Um, pornography, pornography, I think we called that yeah. in the old days. <laughs> it's, it's pornography, essentially, and he makes money off that. So he uploads it for them and takes a majority of the percentage of the money that's made from so that. So he's a bit of a pimp, basically. Pimp, yeah, pretty much. If you know this, though... And if so many women know this, what threat is he? He's actually displaying exactly what it is not to be a man. Yes, exactly. However, for women, it's really easy to identify, hey, this is wrong. But, you know, when you've got young men who are looking for a role model, someone who they aspire to be like, I mean, I see podcasts um, of this guy called Aidan Ross. He's a big Andrew Tate supporter. Um, he knows that Andrew Tate's been arrested. However, he's like, oh, well, it's not true unless until he's convicted. And they're still spreading his messages and what he supports even though he's currently okay. sitting in prison. Have you ever met in New Zealand a young guy 
who would admit to being an acolyte or a follower of Andrew Tate. Um, they never admit no, but you can check the Instagram following follower list and see that they do follow him, and that says oh enough. God. So, <laughs> so you now sort of cyber spy on young men to say. I, I think I could speak for most young women. They do. It's because it's not. So you don't know who you're meeting. It's potentially unsafe. It's worth to know. You know, it's worth doing some investigating to see if this person is dodgy that you're meeting up with or not, depending on how you meet them, obviously. But it's it's a concern because you have no idea they could treat you terribly. You could yeah. go onto a date and they could be super misogynistic. So, so, so why don't we just leave this to the authorities in Romania? Well, why, why are we all... Why, and I take it that you knew exactly what I was talking about yep. when I raised it. Yeah. As I said, I only sort of looked and, and who was this guy, Andrew Trait, tending. Why do we bother worrying about this? It's not happening here Ruby, or are you um, saying that it's influencing New Zealand or New Zealand guys? Just because it's not happening as much directly in New Zealand doesn't mean I don't think it's a problem. I think it's a generational thing. I think it's affecting a whole bunch of mindsets that could be, you know, it could come out 20 years later, these issues could be present, you know. Yeah. These are, some of these boys are so young and easily influenced, they could be convinced that this is the right way to live yeah. their life and treat people and but they could see, I change. feel that about Greta Thunberg, the terrible lies she tells about climate change <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the, no, I'm serious, and the planet ending, mm. that's really damaging young minds well, as well. The right? fear mongering around yeah. climate change and stuff. I think that's as bad, if not worse, than what Andrew Tate's doing. So so what do you want to happen to Andrew Tate as a concerned young woman? And clearly you were passionate about yeah. it when I saw you act out there. Do you want him to be taken off Twitter to be banned? Do you want to stone or imprison <laughs> the people who follow him? Um, I don't mean, I think it's your, as you said, free speech. You have a right to follow and to listen to who you want to. Um, I think it's more about stopping Andrew Tate. I think it's about getting him fully in prison and not being able but, but, to put but, but, any but, but, more messages. But hang on, has he broken any laws? He's sex trafficking. He's well, well, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, Ruby. <laughs> hang on, Ruby. He has made, from what I can see, some admissions which are more bravado mm. to attract attention to himself. Um, the women who live there say that they are free to go. You cannot say he's a sex trafficker, Ruby, mm. until he has been convicted that is true. in a court of law. Has he been convicted in a court of law? Or Not is, as no, of yet. So you can't say <laughs> that, Ruby. That's but what what's about called freedom of speech? De- no, 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 you can't defame. You cannot defame. Well, you're free to say it, but you'd also be defaming the guy, which in New Zealand, uh, telling an untruth about someone that damages their reputation um, is a, can be a, well, sorry, sorry can be a civil offence yeah. liable to, to, to um, liable to big fines. Um, is this, <laughs> put it this way, how often would your generation, your friends be talking about Andrew Tate? Is it something that's come up in conversation? Absolutely. It's a very relevant yeah. conversation at the moment. I mean, with holidays, you know, it hasn't been touched on too much, but with the whole recent controversy, there has been, whenever there is new news with him, it does whole, spark up a whole new conversation. God, God, you see, if, I don't know if we should take your phone off you. <laughs> um, because I don't know what you're thinking about in the office. Well, let, okay, seeing I got you here, what about the other thing? Um, now, someone else here is saying, Will, a guy called Will, Will, I want you to ring in because we seem to have, I suspect, an Andrew Tate supporter oh. starting text here. He says, Sean, that take on Tate is ridiculous. None of what she is saying is true. That's from Will. And Will says, the US Embassy made Romania arrest him to shut him up. Now, what's this? That there's he's too oh. powerful. There's now this conspiracy theory that it's all part of Klaus Schwab, I presume, and anti-vaxxers or something. Oh, okay. Is he an anti-vaxxer? I have no idea, actually. You should have checked that out. I should have actually should have done some more fact-checking. The other thing that's going on is um, Ginger and the Winger, is um, Meghan Markle and, and Prince Harry. For people of your generation, is that a thing? Um, for me personally, I have absolutely no interest Good on whatsoever. You. I have no interest in the royal so that's family. So not like as big as Andrew Tate. No, no, not at all to me. Well, to me personally, I mean, I know a lot of people uh, who love Harry and Meghan and love the book and the and the the series or the documentary. Yeah. Um, it's not for me personally. I have zero interest. Um, I think that you can only have so much life experience coming from a, a childhood background like that. Yeah, and that's what I think of Greta Thunberg as well. Ruby, thank you for clearing that up for us. It's thank you. It's very good to be able to check that out. Did you have a good break? I did. I had a wonderful break. But you're really happy to be back at work, I actually right? am. I've been looking forward to it. <laughs>
Need that, something to do. I've been a bit bored the oh, last few you days. See, you see, okay, that is good. We're going to work you like a slave then. <laughs> uh, right, I might be you. guilty of human trafficking. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, okay. Okay, no Andrew Tate stuff here. You can't get cancelled this year, Sean. No, that no. Is, that is our content producer, Ruby Griffin, giving a, a younger demographics take on the controversy I wasn't aware of. Andrew Tate, who sounds like a complete roué.